Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingersFlyShop.com Bringing you another fly tonight. This one is a pretty cool looking one. It's called Kylie's Nymph Skin Caddis. Um, for a while I was on this kick where I wanted to find um, cat gut. And uh, it was really hard to find here in America. Um, it's a European thing. The European Czech nymphers use it a lot. I was trying to find it. I did f end up finding some and it ties some really cool flies. Caught a couple fish on it. But I found a substitute for it that works a lot easier and it's a lot less mess than working with the cat gut. And that would be this Kylie's Nymph Skin. The natural latex. It For the natural cat gut killer. It has the same effect. It gives you a nice rib. Not as perfectly ribbed as, uh, as the cat gut does, but still a very good look to it. And uh, you're going to like it too. So let's get into tying it. We're going to tie it on a fire hole 316 hook in a size 12. You can tie it smaller, tie it bigger if you want. Um, for the bead, I'm using a black nickel 764 bead, a tungsten bead. And then I'm going to put a couple wraps of lead on it. And this lead, the reason I'm going to put the lead on it is uh, actually to give me a little bit of body. Not so much for the weight with the tungsten bead, I'm getting some, but... I mean, I like to have a little extra always, but about 10 wraps on there is about what I want. And like I said, the main thing is, is I want to taper this towards the bead. So I'm not going to shove that real far in under the bead so I can keep that taper. Then we're just going to wrap some thread on. Now, change it up on this. If you like a different color, use a different color. I'm using a fluorescent chartreuse. This one's going to be a flashy one here. And uh, I'm just going to take my fluorescent chartreuse 140 denier um, ultra thread and we're just going to cover that lead up and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to go a little bit around the bend of the hook here. This is a nice curved caddis hook and uh, I love these fire hole hooks. They're really sharp. I did just stick my finger there a second ago. And the nymph skin here is like a rubber band. It's like a clear rubber band. And what I did is I trimmed it at a sharp angle so I get a smaller point here. And I'm going to tie it in by that. And I'm going to tie it in right behind the lead and it'll kind of even things out and blend it. And then I'm going to pull it tight so as it goes back here it gets thinner and thinner. Okay, then I'm just going to smooth that out a little bit there up to that lead and get a nice taper going. The next thing I'm going to use is I'm going to use some Glow Bright. I'm going to use the pink color, use orange, whatever you know, whatever you want to use there. I'm going to put a hot spot on this. And I'm just going to take and cut a piece off, okay? Like a, you know, a 6-8 inch piece. Going to cut the piece of that Glow Bright off. And I'm just going to tie it on there. You don't have to tie it on with a bobbin. You can just tie this real easy. Just make a couple wraps around it. Hold it into place. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to wrap this on. And I'm going to get about five or six wraps. And that's all it's going to take. And that's all the more width I want on it. Okay, I don't want a big hot spot. I don't want this overpowering. I just want it to show through and know, let you know it's there. So like I said, five or six wraps, and then I'm just going to tie that off with my thread. And then we're going to come forward. Trim this. Okay, then I'm going to come forward with my green again, and I'm just going to make sure I have it covered up nice and, you know, looking nice and smooth. Now, I don't want to, I want to leave... A little bit of a gap here you see how on the fly I kind of you can see the lead showing through here and I didn't wrap a whole lot into this I want to leave that because this nymph skin is gonna fall into that so next thing we're gonna do we're just gonna start wrapping this forward and we're gonna create a rib with it we're just gonna overlap it slightly and it will cause a, a slight rib to it which you'll see and this stuff is very transparent. Like I said, it's like a clear rubber band. And you can see my hot spot showing through there, and you can see the fluorescent making a nice green color. Now, as I get up here close to the bead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull real tight on this, and it's going to make a thin wrap. Okay, and I want to stop just right behind that bead there. 
and then wrap it off tight. Okay, then we'll just make a couple of securing wraps just to make sure. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put on a collar. For the collar, I'm going to use a CDC feather, a brown CDC feather, and uh, we'll just get one out of the bag here. Let me get a little bit longer one. There's a nice one. Okay, and we're just going to take take the fibers on this, pinch the end of it. We're going to take the fibers, tease them back so they stand straight up. Okay, these long ones on the back, I don't need them, so I'm going to pull them off. And then I'm going to take some brown squirrel dubbing, uh, SLF squirrel dub, and I'm just going to lay it on one side, okay? And then I'm going to put it in my clamp. So I'm going to lay it down here where I can do that. Take my brown SLF squirrel dub, the dark brown is what I'm using on this. You can, like I said, mix and match the colors, see what you like, what works for you in your area. And all I'm going to do is just, you see how how sparse that is. Just enough there to so you know it's there. And that's going to give you a lot of bugginess in your collar. Okay, and then I'm just going to lay that down. There you can see it through my collar. I'm just, I mean, through the feathers there. I'm just laying it right on top. And it's just going to match in with those fibers standing up and we're just gonna put that in our clamp put it towards one of the ends okay and I just clamp that in there so all the fibers are trapped in, the, in it and I can come in and trim this off with my scissors so let me trim the other side of the CDC feather off on the clamp side of the shaft of the feather Okay, and there you see, there's my collar ready to go into my dubbing loop. Now, for a dubbing loop on this one, I use CDC. I like to split the thread. So I'll take my bodkin, stick it in between this 140 denier thread, and I'm just going to split the thread in half. Okay, you can see how I split it in half. And that's how I'm going to make my dubbing loop, rather than using a dubbing loop tool. I can control this a little better. And I'm just going to stick that in there. Oops. And it popped out on me. Let me. Open her back up. There we go. It's not a big deal. We're just going to open that back up. We'll stick this back in there. And I'm going to let it tight right beside the clamp and we'll open up the clamp and you'll see how it all trapped that in there okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my vise sideways and I'm gonna get this underneath it so the fly doesn't get in the way and I'm just gonna spin my bobbin and you'll see that twisting up there and what I'll do is make a nice dubbing brush with the CDC and the fox squirrel fibers and once it gets nice and dubbed up there you get a nice brush we're just going to take and make our collar and we're going to start back and we're just going to keep teasing back these fibers and work it up towards the uh, towards the uh, bead there and that's a nice size collar there not too overpowering uh, I like that collar a lot then we're just going to give a couple wraps it'll give us a hot spot collar on the front here and we're all done so let's whip finish this up Okay, nice, taking time to make a nice small collar, but make sure you got a good knot on there. And that's all that's to Kylie's Nymph Skin Caddis. Um, give this a try, like I said, it's a great, great substitute for cat gut. I really love the look of this color. Um, like I said in other videos, if your CDC fiber is a little too long, pinch them with your fingers, they'll pop right off. But uh, like I said, I've been fishing the cat gut nymph here for a little bit and it's worked really great for me this looks exactly the same um the only thing is that the cat gut will take on water it'll look a little bit different in the water but it's still the same idea and uh like i said i mess with the colors a little bit too i'll use some browns and oranges in it and uh just have fun that's all the fun in fly tying so until next time 
please take the time to subscribe to our channel and like us on Facebook and Instagram. You can follow us there so you're constantly updated with new videos. I love bringing these to you and can't wait to bring another one. Thanks again, everybody. I'm Sean Holsinger. Thank you.